Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of One Seed, One World. Thanks again for stopping by and checking out another video. Today we are in the kitchen and we are going to be making a big pot of soup. Now I posted the recipe for this uh, particular soup on our website, on the blog. You can go there at www.oneseedoneworld.com and then click on the tab for blog. And there is different recipes and stuff on there, but the most recent one is the recipe for the soup. Um, so if you prefer to just read it or refer back to the notes, uh, you can go there to get the recipe. Anyway, this is an excellent recipe for leftover Thanksgiving turkey. Uh, if you've got a bunch of leftovers that you're not sure what to do with, this soup is amazing. Uh, it will also work if you've got like a rotisserie chicken. Um, so if you want to substitute chicken for the turkey, you can do that as well and make it any time during the year. If you are vegetarian or vegan, you can just, I guess you could just remove the turkey or chicken and make it without. But I, I think you would probably need to add something in there. Um, I grew up vegetarian, although I'm not vegetarian now. I did grow up vegetarian. And uh, I grew up on some meat substitutes uh, like Loma Linda and Worthington were the two brands that we ate a lot of. Uh, and they do have different types of vegetarian chicken, uh, like fried chick or something might work in this. I'm, I'm not sure. I have not tried substituting the substitute meat for the real meat to make a determination on how the flavors meld together um, but feel free to experiment anyway so this is a mexican style turkey soup that we are making today um, it has like green chilies and cilantro and turkey and then of course garlic onion all that kind of good stuff in it as well so to get started off here is uh, the list of ingredients. Okay, now that you've seen the list of ingredients, the first note that I wanna make is that that does not make a whole lot of soup. Um, if you are cooking for just yourself, uh, or for two of you that will probably give you maybe four to six bowls of soup depending on um, how much you eat. I like a good full bowl of soup so it's not going to give you a, a whole lot. That is the base recipe right there. Today I'm actually quadrupling the recipe because even though there's only two of us here eating it, um, we want to freeze whatever we don't eat over the next couple of days and then uh, have it to eat at other times throughout the winter because you know, it's always awesome if you don't feel like cooking you can go grab a, a thing of frozen soup out of the, the freezer and just thaw it out and heat it up and you're good to go with Not a whole lot of work to do All right, so let's get to the first step to making this soup Okay, so the first thing you want to do is get all of your vegetables chopped up chop up your carrots your celery uh, let's see what else your onion your garlic unless you're using jarred garlic then you don't have to worry about chopping that um, chop up your turkey or your chicken if you're substituting chicken your cilantro kind of just kind of get all that stuff ready to go so that you um, can just start cooking away and you don't have to worry about running back and forth and trying to chop something and get it ready uh, to get it into the pot on time okay so step one Let's get some oil into our cooking pot here and um, again I am just quadrupling the recipe so I'm going to be using more oil and vegetables than what you're going to see on the initial ingredient list. Okay now we've got a little bit of heat in the pot, oil is starting to heat up. Go ahead and add in our carrots. Celery, and our onion. Okay. 
we're just gonna let this cook it down a little bit let everything kind of all the flavors meld together soften up a little bit before we add our stock there we go okay so I was having a little bit of issue with I had uh, my GoPro above the pot so that you kind of see what was going on in there however all that steam coming up kept fogging up the lens so can't really do that so hopefully this will work instead all right so our stuff is starting to uh, soften up in here and things get nice and hot now we're going to add our stock and really I should have added the garlic in here with this and I didn't do that so because uh, I forgot so I'm just gonna add it in at the same time that I add the stock it'll be fine I'm using an organic uh, chicken stock here but you could also make your own stock out of the turkey bones and the uh, you know turkey skin or, or whatever uh, you know make your own homemade stock I kind of wanted to get this going and so I did not make my own stock this time so I'm just using this uh, nature's promise organic chicken stock and this is what I've used multiple times in the past so I know this will work uh, so since I'm quadrupling the recipe one whole box of stock uh, will give me the six cups that I need I was incorrect I actually need um, 12 cups of stock to quadruple it. <clears throat> Six would be doubling. So I need two of these boxes. Can't get it open. Oh, come on. There we go. stocks in I'm gonna throw my garlic in here too and I'll do that in a second but you're gonna to want to bring this to a boil and then we'll go to the next step all right so I'm using um, jarred minced garlic here um, and again I've used this multiple times in the past so I know that it works but you could also use fresh garlic but my fresh garlic isn't so fresh anymore. We have had, over the last really three weeks, I guess, our kitchen has been in the process of being remodeled. And this is the really first meal that I've cooked in here. Mitzi did cook um, Thanksgiving dinner in here because they got our stove in just in time. <laughs> The, the night before Thanksgiving so we were able to cook our turkey and stuff in here uh, but they didn't finish up until just two days ago with all the trim and the paint and whatnot um, so this is the <clears throat> first real deal dish that I've been cooking in our new kitchen and I'm very excited about having new appliances new counters new cabinets new sink new lighting <laughs> everything's new and we have been dealing with a, a ramshackle um, kitchen for the last really eight years since that we've first moved in here uh, and it definitely needed some updating so anyway it's very exciting so uh, back to the garlic um, I have not bought any fresh garlic and of course the garlic that I planted this year in the garden will not be ready until uh, probably next summer like June or July um, so I am cheating a bit and using just generic minced garlic jarred don't hate me too much cut this heat down a little bit 
think I had my heat a little too high when I had before I put the stock in because I was running around trying to still get a couple of things. Uh, I'm still trying to find all of our utensils uh, because the, the kitchen was just finished this week. Probably three quarters of our kitchen stuff is still in the spare bedroom and the dining room and in boxes and we've been kind of bringing stuff out and trying to reorganize but uh, I didn't have a few of the items that I needed out here and so I wasn't too prepared but it's smelling pretty good so far. Alright so we're going to bring this to the boil uh, and then we're going to let it simmer um, for about 10 minutes before we go to the next step. Okay, sorry, one correction. You're gonna bring it to a boil and then turn your heat down to a simmer. You don't have to let it simmer for 10 minutes before the next step. Uh, just bring it up to a boil. Once it's come to a boil like it is right now, not that you can see it because I can't uh, put my camera over with all the steam coming up, uh, but it is boiling right now. So we are going to Turn this heat down to about medium to bring it down so it's not boiling so hard. I'm gonna get it down to a simmer, so I might, I'm still getting used to the stove top, so I'll have to see, you know, get it adjusted or whatever. Um, now, add half your turkey. Again, this is the Thanksgiving turkey. So this has been already cooked. Um, and if you are substituting something out, like, you know, doing chicken instead, um, you want to have your chicken pre-cooked. Uh, so if it's not like a rotisserie chicken or something like that, if you have raw chicken breast, you're going to want to, I don't know, bake it or something first. I've always used um, pre-cooked bird <laughs> in this soup. So I don't really have the tips on the best way, but I'm sure that you could probably bake it, fry it, grill it. I don't think it really matters. As long as you got yourself some, some good bird, it's gonna go well in this soup. And really you could probably even use other types, like if, uh, if you're a pheasant fan or, um, I don't know, quail, pigeon, whatever bird you want, you could probably add to the soup however you want to get down. It's your kitchen after all. Okay, so I got half of the turkey in here. Now we're gonna add the corn. So with your canned corn, you're gonna drain that first. I'm gonna go do that now. All right, add your, can, your canned corn in there. as well as your green chilies. With the green chilies, you don't have to uh, drain them. Just dump the whole can in there. I am one can short for quadrupling the recipe, but I think it's gonna be fine. Um, I had actually bought some uh, salsa verde as a substitute to use because I, I thought I only had one can of chilies and the store was completely out for the last I went two days in a row and I didn't get any restock so they didn't have any more green chilies at all which I thought was kind of odd I was kind of weird that was what they were out of but um, I was going to try using the, the salsa verde as a substitute, but now that I've found I've got three cans of the green chilies, I think I'm, I'm good. We'll just be a, a can short. And you see it's just these mild uh, diced green chilies that you can get in the store. There's a, I've got a, three different brands here, actually. I'm not sure how that happened, but I've got the uh, Ortega, the Goya, and... La Preferita, maybe, I guess that is. I don't know. Um, so, whatever your preference is. 
Uh, and, you know, if you grow your own green chilies and can them, then you could use that as well. Give this a little stir. Get everything all incorporated in here. And now we're just going to let this simmer for a little while while we go mix up our other ingredients. Okay, so in this bowl here, I've got my ancho chili powder, my cumin, my salt, my flour. I'm going to whisk in the milk. I actually need to add more because, again, I'm quadrupling the recipe. Okay, now we're going to take that milk and flour and spice mixture and pour that into our soup pot. Oh, miss whisking in some flour there. We'll have to stir that in here in the pot. Just a little bit though, we're all right. So we're gonna stir this for a couple minutes here and let this thicken up. And then we're just about done. Then it's just adding the cheese and the cilantro and uh, you know, letting it maybe do a very low simmer on the stove for a bit to kind of let all the flavors meld together uh, with the occasional stir. You know what's awesome is that it's the first week of December and thanks to building that little hoop house over one of my raised beds, I can go out and pick a whole bunch of cilantro. So if you want to see how to build a hoop house on your raised bed, I'll put a little link above here and you can click and go check out that video so that you can grow some greens that you can go pick out in the middle of the winter and uh, still be cooking fresh stuff right out of your garden. So I'm going to chop this up to get this ready now. I noticed that, that I said earlier to pre-chop all your vegetables, but it was pouring rain outside and I didn't want to go out to the garden quite yet to pick the cilantro. So I was holding off until the rain abated a bit. So now it's down to a light drizzle. So I went out and got the cilantro. So now I'll go chop it. Okay, so our soup is thickened up very nicely. And with adding in that flour and milk and spice mix, it's looking a lot more creamy now. So now we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of the turkey. Get that dumped in there. We're gonna add our cheese. Now on the recipe, I have listed to just use Monterey Jack cheese. However, I have since changed that. I mean, the Monterey Jack cheese by itself works fine, but I find that using the four cheese Mexican pre-shredded mix adds a little bit more flair and flavor. So you can go with just the Monterey, but I recommend going with the four cheese blend. All right, so we're gonna get this stirred in there so it can get melting in there and get nice and cheesy. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's get our chopped cilantro in there. All right. And that, my friends, is the way to make a creamy Mexican style turkey soup with your leftover Thanksgiving turkey. It's a great way to use up a lot of turkey, especially if you're doubling, tripling, or quadrupling the batches. It's good stuff. Really, that's it. All the ingredients are in. I like to normally let it just kind of meld a little bit on the stove. Meld, not melt. But let all the flavors kind of come together uh, and, you know, let it go on just kind of a very low heat. I'm actually going to turn the stove top way down here. But let it go like on a very low heat. I don't know, 20 minutes, half hour. I mean, you can eat this right now. But if you let it cook a little bit longer, more flavor is going to come out. And really when you have leftovers, like if you eat it some more tomorrow and it's kind of been sitting overnight in the fridge, oh, more flavor yet again.
Okay, so before we go, we're gonna do a final little taste test. I'm not gonna like dish this out into a bowl or anything right now, um, cause I wanna wait a little bit, but. Mm. This soup is so good. Very comforting soup for your autumn and winter nights. So that's it. Turkey soup, Mexican style, from leftover turkey. I hope that this gave you some ideas on what you can do with your leftover turkey. And uh, let me know if you make it, how it turned out for you, or if you have any changes that you made for your particular version, what you added in. I always like to change things up a bit and like to get new ideas. So thanks again for stopping by and checking out another video. And uh, whatever is going on in your neck of the woods, at your homesteads and your gardens, I hope that you are having a fantastic day. And that all of your projects and your recipes and whatever it is that you're doing is coming out great. But please subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you again soon. And uh, that's it. Namaste.